Let's do page 131, number 32, part A. Recovering a function from its derivative. Use the following information to graph the function f over the closed interval minus 2, 5. 1. The graph of f is made of closed line segments joined end to end. The graph starts at the point minus 2, comma 3. The derivative of f is the step function shown in the figure. I've copied over the step function to a different scale so I can work on this board, but all the other information will help me get through it. The graph of the function I'm supposed to draw is only comprised of line segments that are touching end to end. These are the corresponding bits of the graph of the derivative, and I start at the point minus two comma three. One, two, one, two, three. That point's on my graph, I know that. All right. So now I'm supposed to graph the rest of the function. It's all line segments, and this is supposed to be the graph of the derivative. And that's where I understand what's going on. If I draw a line segment, its derivative, the derivative of a line segment, is its slope. So the y values where these horizontal lines are, those are the slopes of the line segments I'm supposed to be drawing. So from minus 2 to 0, I have a slope of minus 2. All right, so I need to draw a line segment that starts at this point and then goes down two and over one, down two and over one. All right, so slope of minus two, down two, over one. We'll do that again, down two, over one. And yeah, I could just draw the line segment, but I enjoy thinking about slope. And they're closed line segments joined end to end, so I fill in both the endpoints. My next line segment has a slope of zero, so that'll be a horizontal line. After that, I have a slope of one up one and over one, up one and over one. And then finally, I have a slope of minus one. And there is my function. In red, y equals f of x, and in blue, it's derivative. Notice that the derivative has open circles in a bunch of places, while the function I just drew has a bunch of corners. And at corners, derivatives do not exist. The derivative apparently does exist at the endpoints because I only need to have a derivative from the right and from the left there. So, I've done it. We've recreated the function y equals f of x with the information given. Now, if you wanted to try this again on your own, part b has you start the graph at minus two zero instead of the point minus two three. And I do think that makes a good exercise. Uh, give that a try, and if you have any questions about it, feel free uh, to send me an email or to join me in an office hour.